welcome back to our channel. I'm Carmen. I'm Phoebe. Today we're doing a video on the recent popular bags that we haven't added to our collection. So this will video will just be discussing what are our thoughts on these bags and why we didn't add them and if we will add them in the future. <laughs> so if you're interested then please keep watching. So we've got a few different designers that we'll be talking about bags from and the first one we will start with is YSL. So mm -hmm. recently the Lulu bags and like the Lou mini kind of bags have been mm -hmm. super super popular. We've been seeing them all over social media. I have friends who own the bags as well. Um, I think they're cute bags, but in all honesty, probably not my style, I feel. Mm -hmm. I think you could pull off maybe potentially like the darker colours. Yeah. I can see you. I just don't see like myself. Black, silver one. Yeah. yeah. But not any of the lighter colours. Yeah. And a bit, I don't know, the type, is, is it too cute for me? It, it is pretty sure. cute. But it's it's a you're, very cute you're bag. You're cute. <laughs> I don't think I'm cute enough to own that style of bag. I honestly can see you having a really cute mini, like, I like the it. toy kind of version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they come in heaps of different sizes. Well, not heaps, but the one that I would consider if I were to add one would be the toy Lulu. And it's just like a really cute, squarish, puffy chevron style like the beige with the gold hardware i think is super cute um but i've already got quite a few but like i've got the chanel mini square so yeah. i think they're very similar like in in terms of size and style like it's very yeah. square this one's just shape. more puffy yeah puffy <laughs> why do you have a dumpling i don't know oh why gosh, i don't actually think of dumplings when i see those bags yeah. <laughs> i think it's super cute yeah. but like the puppy style has been really popular yeah. recently i was and honestly wondering why you don't own, own one but then yeah realized that it is very i've already got other bags, the type of bags that you have yeah. yeah um and uh, the other one is called the i think it's called the Lou me so it's it's a little bit different. It was quite popular last year. Like it's got the chevron style and it's rectangular and it's got the gold or silver chain and, and, the the, the and the tassel on the side. And I think that's a really pretty bag. Like heaps of people were raving about it because they thought it was a really nice alternative to the Gucci Soho Disco yeah. because it had a little bit more to it, a little bit dressier. More but, structured. Yeah, slightly more structured and because it was like a pebble Leather? Was it pebble? Maybe. Ooh. No, no, no. I think it's like a sappy Yeah, I don't think it's pebble. Leather, yeah. Um, it was really durable and so people were like, ooh, I might get rid of my Soho Disco and replace it with that instead. Um, but I'm really glad I didn't do that because I feel like the Soho Disco is like a really casual bag and I don't really want to take away from that. I don't like, want too many fancy bags. In yeah. Like the yeah. Soho is just the right amount of like... Mm -hmm. Not like it's not over the top. Yeah, like if I, I love wanted, it, I love my so Yeah, bag. if I wanted to have a dressy bag, I would just use a different bag. I don't need. I don't feel the need to have a bag that does both. Both, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that's why I didn't add them to my collection, and you just think they're too cute for you. Think. <laughs> I'm just on a dumpling bag girl. Maybe I can pull it off. If I was a little bit cuter, maybe. <laughs> that we were going to talk about is the Prada re-edition. Uh, so they come in different levels or materials. So there's like a nylon version and the other one's like a Safiano kind of leather. Yeah. And what do you think about that? I can actually see I can see me having one it. and like I would like yeah. to have one, but I can't, I don't know, don't have the disposable income at the moment, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if it, that tr the trend of like that kind of small bag. It just reminds me of when I was like twelve and I just had this little like. <laughs> it's a very like, vintage shocking bag. bag. Yeah. yeah, and it was like that little one, that style, like over the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't find it as practical. I don't know wearing it now. Like, thinking about it now compared to like an easy to wear like crossbody bag or like your Palm Springs mini. Yeah, being able to throw that on is a. Li I think it's a lot more easier. Yeah, I don't know. but I think it's actually. A cheaper alternative to the LV, the Louis Vuitton uh, multi pochette yeah. accessoire because it also comes with like the different attachments Strips. and stuff. Um, but I can not see myself use that bag. Maybe if it came in different colors, like a like a brown. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> like I actually brown. do really <laughs> like it though. Like yeah. I don't know, the nylon would be carefree, but then to me, nylon just seems a little yeah. bit. Oh, I wouldn't pay that much for a nylon, nylon bag. bag. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, if I wanted nylon, I feel like I would just go for long shot. Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? Yeah. But it's still cute. Yeah. I still kind of like that style. Like, it is something different and something... Like, maybe I don't own anything like yeah. that, but... It's nice. But I do feel like maybe it's just quite trendy. Oh, definitely. Time. Yeah. So? Massive trendy bag, so... Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. yeah. It's cute. But maybe not for us. <laughs> so, the next bag that's been super popular that I actually personally was considering buying is the LV Multi Pochette Accessoire. Mm. So, I think it's lots of people have different opinions on this from like yeah. what I've read and seen. Um, some people think, I have read somewhere that some people think it's going to eventually become a classic piece. Really? Which I'm not too sure if I agree on because it does look trendy yeah. to me. To be honest, I do feel like that bag isn't as popular anymore. That's just me. Yeah. I feel like. I haven't seen Decreased it. In yeah, them. I haven't seen it around and people haven't been talking about it as much yeah. anymore. I think the main attraction mm -hmm. or like what people are saying that it's useful for is like you'll be able to use each little separate component like as yeah. is um, on its own. So yeah. that's a bonus if you're kind of looking for like value for money. Yeah, to well, I mean, I wouldn't really call it value yeah. for money. It's still like $3,000. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the strap and like just how it looks just makes it look very trendy. And if you think about it, Practicality wise, if you wear the whole thing together, everything's in different yeah. sections. I don't know. Yeah, because you've got that thing up here, right? Yeah. A little think... guy that sits up there. There's little then, round yeah. coin purse, yeah. I think, up here. But I think that's why people love it, because it's so different. Yeah. And I do really think that some people can pull it off so well, and they just look so good. But I would never look that good. In all honesty, <laughs> I actually haven't tried it on. So I don't yeah, know I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it like on person. person. Yeah. yeah. I've only seen it on social media and like pictures and things like yeah. that. So I did, yeah, really yeah. want it, but... Yeah, I think you can still maybe consider it in the future. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. It's definitely not a top wish list item for me, but yeah. it's cute. I could maybe make yeah. use of it. Phoebe's cool enough to pull it off, but <laughs> I'm not. Like... <laughs> The next brand that we've got on the list is Dior, Christian Dior, and there's two bags from there, the Lady Dior and the Book Tote. So we'll discuss the Lady Dior first because this bag I've actually had on my wish list, uh, well I wouldn't really say on my wish list, like I it's like been in it. there but not it's in there but it's never made its way out up. and yeah. just like it in and out and I, I do think it's a really nice bag, it's really pretty. But it's more, for me, it's more like a display shelf bag. Like, <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I don't, I never fancy Dior bags no. for me personally. Yeah. Like, yeah, I like to look at them, but yeah, like you said, it's more of a display bag. Yeah, I just think they're so beautiful. They're so pretty. It's just they're not really practical in yeah. my opinion. Like, I've uh, heard that the lady of Dior um, has too many flaps like you've got the flap to open it and then it's also a really delicate leather if you choose the lambskin version and you just have to be careful with it and also i think the strap is also really long oh. yeah so for me personally i do prefer my shoulder straps to be the right length or adjustable at least and it's not um but yeah, I, I do really like the pearly kind of colour. Yeah. Do you know the one I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, it's beautiful in the mini size or the narrow mini, I think. Yeah, uh, but, but yeah, they do some really beautiful pastel colours, and it was on my wish list. But it's that bag is also really expensive. Yeah. I think it's about ooh, six thousand Australian dollars, and for that price, I think I would rather maybe invest in like a Chanel. Chanel yeah. Definitely. yeah. yeah. Um, and the book tote, um, that was really popular in like the last two years. Um, I, two books. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I never considered it yeah. just because I think they're quite big for our frame. Um, we're only like five foot four, three. Um, and that's one. And we're still very much into mini bags. Yeah, and we love our mini bags. Although I have seen the book tote come in out in mini versions oh. yeah it's it's really nice but uh, but then again like if it's in a mini version uh you, it doesn't have a shoulder strap so you kind of just have to hold it and it just looks a bit awkward in my opinion um but yeah and also it's canvas it's yeah. really expensive for, for a canvas, canvas bag. bag yeah uh 
I can appreciate it, but I wouldn't personally buy it or add to my And at that price, like the price points that they're mm. both at in Mess and Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just love Chanel. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Chanel. Um, we'll be discussing the reissue bag. Mm. So Carmen has just told me that the reissue bag was the first bag that they ever kind yeah. of released, so they never had the classic CC logo to begin yeah. with. Um, what are your thoughts on the reissue? I like it. Um, I think it's a really classic bag and it's I guess it's just an alternative to the classic flap yeah. um, and for some people it would be great if you don't want like a flashy branded in your face kind of bag although I mean arguably the Chanel CC logo is isn't that flashy <laughs> it's still relatively <laughs> understatement yeah. everybody knows it like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I would prefer the classic flap in my opinion just because I do like seeing the CC logo it on so my back. Yeah. It just adds that extra little bit of mm -hmm. something to yeah. the bag. I yeah. just feel like the reissue is such an easily duplicable um, yeah. like, design that you can there's find that anywhere. Yeah, everybody makes it. So yeah. yeah, I would just rather have something that you like because you're gonna spend the money on it, I feel like oh it's not even the money, I just feel like the, just the look of it. The look of the CC logo just makes it look Classier. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the reissue bag is just a little bit more casual without it is, the hardware yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, so many, not not even brands, like what I'm trying to say is so many shops and department stores even, you can find something so similar um, and it's because it's just got that simple clasp. So anybody can make it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Super classic bag, but if I wanted to buy a bag in that kind of shape, then I would choose the classic flap yeah. always. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more from us. Let us know as well if you agree with what we said in this video or if you disagree. We'd love to discuss <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.